Okay, um, hey, what's going on, guys? Today I'm just going to be doing a sort of short recap of the four trailers that Blizzard has released for the upcoming Hearthstone expansion. We don't know the name of this expansion. There's a couple speculated names. Uh, names like Villains of Violet Hold. Stuff like that. Because, as you know, the past villains of the Hearthstone expansions are, <coughs> excuse me, being involved in this, and I'm just going to be re-watching these and giving a little insight on them, maybe, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, just, you know, little input, seeing what maybe I hadn't seen before, because I've already watched all four of these, and let's just get right to it. One night, I was called on to scry. But what is this symbol I spy? It's my own crystal ball. Yes, I'll answer the call. And the others will come by and by. That's right. We be calling a team in. The masters of platin and scheming. By this candle a-glowing, I surely be knowing whose gold will be once more a-gleaming. <laughs> okay, so there's a couple things in this one that I never noticed before. Um, she says at the beginning that she was called on to action, not that she's the one initiating this, which is reinforced in the fourth trailer. Anyways, um, her own crystal ball, I, that would explain why she has the card for herself. Like, she wouldn't need one if she was the one orchestrating this. Other than that, there's nothing too much to show. She has this scene where, you know, she's basically showing her Whispers of the Old God tentacles and stuff. Because that's where she originated the trailer from, Whispers of the Old Gods and stuff. <clears throat> You know, candle a gleaming. We've all seen this. Anyways, the king. We get more information in this one. Each teammate I'm calling has stories. This tale's about riches and glories. Deep down in the earth, a king dreams of rebirth and refilling his gold inventories. Such a shame to have lost all that treasure. Join up. Be a kobold of leisure. The cards now be calling. Someone new, no more stalling. And we next will be taking her measure. Now, what I'm wondering on this one is how did um, King Togwaggle lose all of his treasure? Is this like when the explorers came in and like when they took the treasure or something because the, when the dungeon runs happen is he losing treasure or something I would assume so who knows anyways she talks to him he gets really happy because she tells him that he's going to be making lots of money because he, he looks kind of iffy about it at first but when she persuades him he gets happy and he looks a lot more convinced Anyways, we get this card here of Totem. A lot of people thought it would be Magatha. But since it, they seem to be sticking to mostly Hearthstone-related heroes, as a matter of fact, all Hearthstone-related heroes. Or not heroes, villains, I should say. Sorry, I got a tweet on my phone. I got distracted. Uh, the next hero is actually Magatha, and not Hagatha. No, God, I, ugh, I'm all over the place. He's actually Hagatha. Ignore me, I'm being an idiot. Let's go. The cards see a heart that is stony, and a totem that's all kind of bony. This witch in such danger will soon be no stranger, cause she's gonna be our new crony. We welcome you into this room, and we promise your enemy's doom. Just one more who's coming. The last one I summon is a fella who makes things go boom. 
<laughs> I'm keeping that Magatha in the <laughs> that whole segment where I said Magatha. Anyways, a theme I'm noticing here that I never noticed before was when she brings them in, they uh they seem kind of confused or sort of uh, iffy about it and then she says something like we promise your enemy's doom and then they get like easily persuaded to join the team um, what I really like about this one is that it also includes Shaw chasing, chasing her with the dogs and stuff the visuals on this one are really cool in my opinion This last, uh, this one was pretty easy to figure out because a fellow who makes things go boom with bombs and stuff wasn't that hard to figure out. Every, pretty much everybody figured this one out as soon as this trailer came out. Anyways, the last one, the scientist gave us two characters on the spot, which was Dr. Boom and the guy who was orchestrating all this. Now the cards show me a tinker, so clever, but kind of a stinker. In a storm that's a raging, sits the last one I'm paging, a truly unusual thinker. All bots are now gonna go boom, but still, you shouldn't assume that I've made this selection on my own direction. No, indeed, let's be clear. I have brought you all here, and now you're all in. It is time to begin. So, this one did give us a lot of information. Something else I just want to point out the second time was... I mean, Dr. Boom just already seemed really into it, <laughs> but... All she had to say was all bots are gonna go boom and he was he was ready <laughs> But uh, she was getting ready to flip over the last card and we were ready for it, but Some mysterious figure with wrapped hands stopped her but Also, I want to show that like her hand is a tentacle for this part and I guess that's just the fortune teller and uh Reform interrupts her. No, indeed, let's be clear. I have brought you all here. He has brought them all here, which reinforces the I was called onto action, or whatever she said in the first one. But she was the one sort of getting them interested, but not the one, you know, bringing them here. And now you're all in. It is time to begin. So this sign, I'm not too sure what it means. This could be something in Warcraft. It could be a symbol related to Warcraft. As a matter of fact, let me check real quick. Let me see. Violet hold. Is there like a symbol for it? Because a lot of people are thinking Violet holds symbol or something. Or... No, that is not. Eh. I'll have to wait until somebody else looks at this. Because people are calling this villains of Violet hold. Regardless. This definitely means something, because this is the last card. But the fact that the Rafam is in this does mean a lot to me. And I didn't even realize it's on his face. It's right here, too. That hasn't always been there. Has it? Maybe, oh, maybe the card is to represent Rafam, because it's on his face. I never even noticed that the first time I was watching it. 
Hmm. But because it's purple, it's got to mean something. The entire, the entire pack is is purple. Who knows? Well, I'm gonna wait until some of the like more experienced World of Warcraft slash Hearthstone players watch this as well and post videos about it, and I'll get a better theory about it. Anyways, thank you for watching. That's gonna do it for me.